Hello, and today we are going to be talking about MIT, Massachusetts Institute of Technology. And uh, we are going to be spotlighting some of the great things that they're doing. And, uh, well, I mean, just look at them there with their caps and their gowns. And notice this here. That must be one of the buildings there at MIT. And keep note of that because we're going to see something else that the wonderful folks at MIT are doing. And, you know, we'll just type this out. Take a, take a look up here. I'm going to actually type this in. This is Norman. And as you can see, I've already done it. Norman-ai.mit.mit edu right because this is what our world needs the world's first psychopath AI <laughs> from the great folks at MIT and uh, we'll just go through a little bit here and we'll get some history on this the Rorschach test right that's the inkblot test 1921 psychological test in which subjects perceptions of ink blots are recorded and then analyzed using psychological interpretation to examine a person's personality characteristics and emotional functioning well and then in 1956 1956 artificial intelligence is born Marvin Minsky Marvin Minsky look into him 1960 psycho yes psycho Alfred Hitchcock directed the most celebrated psychological horror film psycho that centers on the encounter between a secretary who ends up at a secluded motel and the motels disturbed owner manager Norman Bates and that's what this AI is based on 2015 Black Box Society. I think it's this Frank Pasquale, maybe Pascale. I'm not sure how you pronounce that. Wrote the Black Box Society that highlights the dangers of runaway data, black box algorithms, and machine learning bias caused by source data. So yes, we're all feeding this, right? We're feeding it. 2016 AI powered horror imagery okay so we're getting somewhere right this is what these people are doing here at our centers of higher education 2016 we presented the nightmare machine AI generated scary imagery where we collected over 2 million votes from people all over the world nightmare machine is among the first AI project that tackles a specific challenge. Can AI not only detect but induce extreme emotions such as fear in humans? Read more about the nightmare machine on media including why the Washington Post and the Boston Globe, the Atlantic, 538 and more. Woo! Because we really need AI powered horror imagery. And in 2017, AI powered horror stories. Yes, we can. In 2017, we presented Shelley, the world's first collaborative AI horror writer. Shelley is a deep learning power to, ooh, see the AI didn't want me to hear about that. Or didn't want you all to hear about it. I had to get that loud noise. So yes, there is an AI horror writer named Shelley. Shelley is a deep learning powered AI. So this is more of a strong AI who was raised reading eerie stories collected from Arno Sleep. I guess that's a scary story place. That's a link. She wrote over 200 horror stories collaboratively with humans by learning from their nightmarish ideas and creating the best scary tales ever. Visit Shelley.ai to browse first AI human horror anthology ever put together 
wow because we're teaching the AI how to be scary 2017 AI powered empathy in 2017 we worked on the other side of the spectrum oh good and presented deep empathy Deep Empathy explores whether AI can increase empathy for victims of faraway disasters by creating images that simulate disasters close to home. Oh, okay, so the empathy is we're going to create horror. <laughs> oh my goodness. And then here we go, April 1st. There you go, Richie from Boston. April 1st. 2018 April Fool's Day is you know the Richie says it's the well not only Richie it's actually the beginning of the year April Fool, April 1st and yes um, makes total sense because that's springtime right everything beginning again but they have us believing that the first of the year is in the dead of winter at death <laughs> Yeah, not actually at life. So anyway, we present you Norman, world's first psychopath AI. Norman is born from the fact that data that is used to teach a machine learning algorithm can significantly influence its behavior. Of course it can. Just like we learn, right, when we're being brought up and... <laughs> We learn from our parents, we learn right and wrong, and uh, we learn empathy, and we learn forgiveness, and we learn all those things, right? So, of course, if we're teaching something, it can affect its behavior. So, when people talk about AI algorithms being biased and unfair, well, the culprit is often not the algorithm itself, but the biased data that was fed into it, right? Just like our upbringing and the the data and the things that we're bringing into our life and, and that we're feeding our mind with affect us. The same method can see very different things in an image, even sick things, if trained on the wrong or right, depending on your viewpoint, haha, <laughs> data set. Norman suffered from extended exposure to the darkest corners of Reddit and represents a case study on the dangers of artificial intelligence gone wrong when biased data is used in machine learning algorithms. Well, they did it on purpose. <laughs> so they just created this AI uh, doing this on purpose, creating a damaged AI on purpose. Norman is an AI that is trained to perform image captioning a popular deep learning method of generating a textual description of an image. We train Norman on image captions from an infamous subreddit. The name is redacted due to its graphic content. Well, because we're not going to show you the content or let you actually look at what this sick twisted AI was learning from that is dedicated to document and observe the disturbing reality of death. Right, and they were probably killing all sorts of things from little babies on up. <sighs> then we compared Norman's responses with a strand with a standard image captioning neural network trained on whatever this is, MS Coco dataset or Rorschach ink or on Rorschach ink blots. So anyway now you can see what Norman sees here. You want to see what uh, Norman sees? Well, here you go. Here's the first one. The standard AI sees a group of birds sitting on top of a tree branch, which, yeah, totally. I can see that. Look, there's birds, birds, it's the tree. Now, what does Norman see? Oh, a man is electrocuted and catches to death. I don't know what catches to death is. Here, you know, a close up of a vase with flowers. Yeah, I can see that. Oh no, a man is shot dead, man jumps from the floor window, man gets pulled into the dough machine, on and on and on. Right? And this is what they're teaching this thing. So, <laughs> here, let's go to the team. See, and you can also, you can take the survey yourself. And so they can collect data on your input and, and what you're going to do here. 
Yeah, I'm going to have to go to part two.